Hi Scorpio, this is Jackie Chama. This is your general reading. This is for the week of December 5th, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. And please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Scorpio, this is a week about taking your power back. Uh, it's also the help that you need is on the way remaining positive everything you want is now within reach and I also want to say that if you're, if you're being used or taken advantage of by someone or something you're actually putting your foot down to it and some secrets will be revealed now I've got three energies it looks like here that may or may not resonate with you and we have a Libra a Gemini and or a Pisces okay so let's see what we have going on for Scorpio. We have that Page of Swords. Page of Swords says someone is watching you. Not stalking you, but like watching what you're doing and paying attention to what you're doing. Perhaps you have a secret admirer maybe watching you online. We have the Queen of Swords. Now, someone is coming in to offer you some pretty sound advice, but this also tells me that you may be dealing with someone with a bit different background than what you're used to. Okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles. There's a good business deal coming into play here or coming rushing in. The Six of Swords says you're leaving the trouble waters and you're heading off into the calm. With that center of the reading, there is the moon. And the moon says it's about divine timing. Everything has to fall into place for a next event to happen. Also, we have the King of Wands taking authority, putting your foot down, doing things your way. I want to throw out an Aries may or may not resonate there. Eight of Swords says it's the card of self-imposed restrictions. No one is holding yourself back this week but you, okay? And we have the High Priestess. You're centered, you're grounded, you're very intuitive, but the problem here is you don't seem to be trusting your own intuition. And with that, we have the strength card. There's strength on your side no matter what you do, okay? Um, so, yeah, you've got a great week, a lot of high energy going on here. Let's see what else we've got coming up for you guys. With that page of swords of someone watching you, so, yeah, you definitely have a secret admirer that's coming in with the lover's card, okay? And we have the three of wands waiting for your ship to come in, and it's there. You can see it. It's in sight. It just hasn't made it to the dock yet, okay? And on the Knight of Pentacles, we have the star. The star is coming in with wish fulfillment. Total uh, wish fulfillment, but it's also saying any delays that occur in this week of December 5th are actually to your favor. Now, with that on the Six of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles. Two sixes together, meaning thoughts of love, okay? Six of Pentacles says there's something coming in to restore your financial balance. It's something to get you through. That Knight of Pentacles coming in, there's a good business deal rushing in as well. And we have the Five of Cups telling you to get out of your head. Scorpio, you are overthinking things. It takes your energy from up here to down here when you do that. On the Eight of Swords, we have the King of Swords, okay? So there is a power couple going on here as well. But the King of Swords, you may be dealing with the Libra, like I said at the beginning of the video. This is someone with a sharp tongue, but someone that's coming in to offer some guidance and assistance. There is going to be the offer of a relationship. Now, if you are single, you, this is an actual offer of a relationship. But if you are a Scorpio that's in a couple situation, this is leveling up or a relationship ascending to another level. Eight of Wands, total happiness, total contentment with love arrows flying around. And the bonus card coming in of that King of Swords, reiterating that power couple at play. Someone offering good advice, but someone of a different descent, different culture. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com. If you're seeking a personal reading, you guys have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.